Good morning, my name is Bert Boerland and this is Bert's Screencast for the day and I'm your host. And today I'm going to talk about something uh, weird, uh, pretty weird actually, um, very weird. I'm a network engineer and I know a bit about uh, uh, ones, uh, uh, not much as about uh, LANs, uh, so I'm not into local networks, but huge networks, internet working, uh, BGP I know, so uh, and I know my TCP IP, so if you don't know, uh, let me let me take you with you and, uh, and uh, tell my experience about one of the weirdest things I've ever done in my home with regards to networking. Um, I think I have a Wi-Fi network since 2002 or something. One of the first in the in the neighborhood that I know for sure. But back then I was uh, a white hat hacking, so I, uh, I was war driving uh, in my town, uh, my village. War driving is uh, having your laptop with you and see where uh, there are access points and try to hop onto them. Back then, web was the encryption key, and not that secure, I can assure you. So um, um, I had a, I had um, um, my PSTN, uh, the, uh, the plain old telephone system, as it's called. So telephone is coming in and it's going to my Wi-Fi access router. And it's broadcasting, etc. So, and I have a laptop um, back in, uh, in, in, in well, what is it, 2000 something? And that laptop is connecting via Wi Fi to my uh, access router, and the access router is giving an IP address towards the laptop, and the laptop then can access the internet because it has a default gateway. Right? Okay. So, um, that's, that's basically this system, and then uh, then I found out that, that there was too many interference, uh, so the neighbors got uh, Wi-Fi. I've had 25 systems in my home that have Wi-Fi, so the Ether is uh, completely full and uh, the Ethernet wasn't going to, uh, was blocked towards the lower parts, towards the uh, um, higher parts, and especially towards the uh, garden. I couldn't access the Internet anymore. So this is what I did. Uh, let me go back a bit. Um, what I did was I uh, uh, used the power over Ethernet. Um, um, no, Ethernet over power. Basically, a device. I think it's a power lines or something. You plug into the wall. It has an Ethernet. As plug into the uh, power socket. Uh, it is a power socket by itself. And and, and pl plug a, a RG45 a, a cable in it, an Ethernet cable, and do that towards an uh, an access point, and and do it upstairs as well. So basically, you're using the existing wiring, your um, your uh, 220, your your, your uh, electricity as as an Ethernet cable. Or, and by that, I had one up covering most of this part. I had one down covering most of this part. This was just, mm, in fact, bridging all traffic towards this. This was still the main hub and has the uh, default gateway. So if you can't catch this, that's okay. It's not that important. But what happened next? Was that uh, my neighbor? Um, well, let me let me put it another way. This was working fine, and I uh, started my laptop, and I have uh, uh, I was connected to uh, to uh, I was down. I connected to this um, to this Wi-Fi access point. This Wi-Fi access point normally would go via electricity this way, and um, if it's got a connection, it would ask uh, how how you doing? Are you okay? I'm doing okay. Uh, I want, would like to have an IP address. There's a DHCP server over here, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, and it's giving an IP address to watch him over this line and a default gateway, and default gateway is this way. If you want to go to the internet, it's this way, and this machine is completely happy. And then I have uh, an Apple here, an Apple TV uh, connected to my TV. It's a, 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 my, my media center. And if I want to um, watch video, I can do it from my um, uh, here as well, from my laptop, so I connect to this. One day I found out that I couldn't access this system, but I could access the internet. Well, you should troubleshoot the system, right? But there was nothing wrong with it. And I could access it from other systems in my house, uh, my iMac here, um, uh, um, etc. Just that this one couldn't. So I started troubleshooting. And what actually happens is, I did connect to this Wi-Fi access point, and uh, that basically closed it. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, I would like to connect to you. Okay, what's the key? Here's the key. It's, it's me or secret or whatever you have for your key. And it says that's okay. And then you have a connection on what's called OC layer 2. And that's the same as plugging in the cable. And what happens next is uh, on one stack higher, uh, your laptop says, Hi, 
I would like to have an IP address and then a DHCP server connected on this device actually because it's transparent for, for him. Um, it would say, I here's your uh, 10.0.1.1 and uh, the default gateway is 10.0.0.1 uh, at this interface. And uh, if you have uh, internet access, you could go root via via me. But I didn't. I'm connected to access for all. And after some troubleshooting, I found out that I wasn't. I found out that my outgoing IP address was in fact Zigo, but only for this device. And I was connected to 100% sure this Ethernet, uh, this Wi-Fi. What actually happened was, and it's pretty, pretty scary, and, and this will, um, this will change uh, people's vision about security and, and lots of other stuff. What did happen was, I did connect via Wi-Fi to my access point, but the electricity between this point and this point is also connected to my neighbor, who had the same device as I had, a plug that's connected towards his router, that's connected towards his, his internet, our internet, the internet. And what happened was I got here, I got the Wi-Fi key, so I'm connected to this network, but then the broadcast goes, okay, I want to have an IP address, please give me an IP address and a default gateway and a DHCP server will normally react, but this server was slower on reacting, this server was faster on reacting, reacting. This was one network. I couldn't believe it. This box was the same as this box, was the same as this box, and it comes with default settings. And the default settings are, yes, there is encryption, but the key is QWERTY. Shh, don't tell. Um, all the boxes have it. So what was happening was I was connected to my Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi, this DHP server, the router of my neighbor, did it. Okay, hey, you want to connect to the internet, that's fine. I have a couple of IP addresses, and I will connect you to the IP address, and by the way, that's Sigo. So this, net, this one was on layer 2 connected to my Wi-Fi, but on layer 3 it was connected to the internet via Sigo. I learned a lot from this. I could follow you pretty quick. I'm not that, um, uh, I'm handy with computers and networking. So I had it in a quarter of an hour, I think, normal people. Uh, define normal, wouldn't, wouldn't have solved it because it's a pretty complex system. Um, I, I bought my uh, power line adopters at a local shop, uh, mostly because I wanted to have them fast. And uh, uh, my neighbor did as well. So this, the same key, the same brand, etc. What you learn of it, one, there shouldn't be default keys and default passwords. Have no password. That's the best password. Default passwords are wrong. Two, you can reset the, the password and then you have to pl plug in them in the walls both and then press a key and then they're negotiating. Shh, with the QWERTY, no, 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 let's do it, it's me. Okay, we do it, it's me. Think about it. This whole system is completely broke if that's how it's working because the moment you plug them in, anyone on the wire can listen. Oh, they're, sh they're saying it's QWERTY, it's QWERTY. Okay, let's do QWERTY. Oh, they're saying it's me. Okay, it's me. Oh, now they're encrypted, but oh, we know the password, don't we? So um, that's another lesson. Lesson you learn: you can't, you can't de have an, you, your encryption is as weak as your uh, uh, lowest part, and, and, and the lowest part is plain text encryption key uh, negotiation. Right? That's stupid. Then everything after that is uh, useless. Um, and the third thing is we will have lots of incidents like this where. Um, we use semi-public infrastructure for uh, private communications un unsecured uh, and there will be lots of incidents like this and uh, think about it um, if your neighbor has uh, power over ethernet or ethernet over power power lines it's called i think big chance that you could actually eavesdrop him and uh, uh, that's the best way uh, uh, to eavesdrop uh, uh, what, what someone's doing so if if a white fan is um, is moving um, uh, towards your neighbor and and your neighbor is uh, uh, pulled out and new people get in with black ties and big chance that uh, they're listening in on you. Okay, so far my uh, conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theories. Um, um, I hope you understand this. I, I think I, I explained it as, as best that I could. Um, pretty damn scary in my humble opinion. Um, I, got, I got a different system now. So uh, the black ties could stay at home. They can hack me in another way, I'm afraid. And uh, I'll be seeing you in the next screencast. Take care. Bye.